Hi everyone and welcome along to this week's quick fix. I'm going to begin by just wetting the page and then I can talk to you and tell you what we're doing today. So um, we're going to paint just some really simple clover flowers. So this is a nice um, little sort of observation of spring. This is a kind of flower that I see a lot in our garden. Um, so I've got some permanent rows here and I'm just going to add the tiniest bit tiniest bit of cobalt blue deep just to get the pink a little more blue or cool I suppose now I wetted the page because what I'm going to do is we're going to paint them firstly on the wet page really really faint and then we're going to add detail to them so I've got my one stroke quarter inch brush which is available as part of a set I sell of uh, I call them the bloom brush set one filbert and two one stroke flathead brushes the page has been drying slowly whilst I've been talking um, and what I'm going to do is just create you can see I've got a tiny bit of yellow on the brush lurking in there get rid of that oh yeah it was from the last thing I painted um, that's fine we're, we're all good so you can see just creating some nice little flower shapes so I'll do another one here so sort of curling down from a top top point and then at the bottom there just sort of fanning out a bit around the bottom. I'll do one more. It's a slightly smaller one there. So this is just another way to approach flower painting. With the wet page you can see it's all gone in nice and feathered. I haven't used a huge amount of colour though, it's all about being quite sparing. So we're going to let that dry and then we're going to add a layer of detail over the top. So those have dried completely and now I'm going to take my size 2 brush and just a little bit of colour and I am going to just to paint in some little, almost like sort of bunny ears, I suppose, starting to sort of capture the the shape of the clover flower. So if we imagine that it's all sort of coming out from that central point, We're sort of almost painting the same thing we painted previously. But having that loose background really helps just sort of anchor it a bit. Okay, so we'll try again. So we'll suddenly start from the bottom this time. So I think having like some that have a little bit of unpainted space there and others that are just solid. And then at the top, obviously we don't want them coming all the way down, but we want to imagine that they're all anchoring to the central point there. So this colour is still really nice and faint. It's not overly strong because what we're going to do now is we can add just a little bit 
of a more concentrated colour just to some of the places where we sort of feel we could add a little something. But I think less is more with these things. So go slow, don't sort of overdo it. If you want to add just a few little sort of brush strokes here or there, a few little extra petals. Then go for it. I think it's always sensible to start adding a bit of colour from that central base point. Okay, happy with those. And now I'm gonna take some sap green and some green gold with my rigger brush and I am going to paint in just a, a central stem to start off with and then I'm going to use my size zero brush to just sort of pad it out a little bit if you want to sort of add a second line just to give it a little bit more um, the thickness and then they have smooth sided leaves um, quite often they sort of come out from uh, the sides um, or from behind So I'm just doing two two ovals or two strokes to create an oval. And just a little bit more darkness at the top of those stems. And there you have a very simple quick fix clover flower. <laughs> 